Hello everyone, this is Jamyang. Good morning, and today I'm going to show you the typical Tibetan houses in Lhasa. Especially, many tourists that they have visited Lhasa are enjoying to see the typical Tibetan houses and the beautiful living yards of the Tibetan people. So let's go and see together what does it looks like. Right now, I am in the Kuisangse courtyard, which is situated nearby Parkour Street. And this is one of the most oldest Tibetan typical houses in Lhasa. And Kuisangse have around 100 years of history. And you can see here the main construction of Kuisangse. This is where the owners are living. And here you can see the local people who have been living here. And around 30 different families are living here. With good preserved by governments, you still can see a really fresh mint colors and really good, perfect constructions. And nearby parkour area, we still have so similar constructions like that. So let's go and explore it with me together. Right now, I'm nearby parkour area and it is pretty rare to see this kind of constructions with this kind of paintings because such a sect only have this kind of paintings on their wall and for an example you can see the three different colors over here is the gray white and red Satya means gray earth and that's why you can see mostly on Satya sect monasteries you can see this gray color and red represent a god of wisdom and white represent an Avalokitesh war. So this is specifically like in Satyapa sect monastery. Luckily, I've seen some old buildings that has been reconstructing. So let's go and see how these old buildings are reconstructing in Tibet. So this is the last courtyard that I would like to show you today. And this courtyard have really beautiful name, which is called Peace Courtyard. And I also have taken many of my guests while they are in Tibet to spend their time to experience how Tibetan peoples are living. And this is an, one of the perfect places that I recommend you guys. So if you are interested in those courtyards that I have shown you today, please welcome to Tibet and explore it with me together.